massive <laughs> oof. But also, you guys cannot sit AFK in corners on the bomb side before they've taken the first line. Like now they're taking main stairs and they're taking office, and we're not even trying to contest it. So, do maybe know why should you anchor all the side in the sum objectives? Whereas in the sum, it is okay to stay on the side. If you have never thought of anchoring of the side, then oh boy, you will like this video. We will also go over what anchor should do at each stage, from preparation phase all the way to the end of the round. But before that, just a quick notice. If you happen to watch this video within the first two hours of the release, I'm currently live on Twitch, reviewing a viewer's ranked face it tournament match on my Twitch channel. Link can be found in the description. If you want your match to be featured, only info can be found in the pinned message. So, what is anchoring? Anchors to roamers is very similar like supporters to entries. We have covered these three guides, if you are interested. Anchors main role is to help roamers deny the map control. Notice that I have not mentioned here to be on the side or off the side. Most people when you mention an anchor think of, they have to be in the objective and that is just wrong mentality behind anchoring. Sure, there are the last layer of the defense in the early stage of the round. However, that doesn't mean they have to be in the objective. I think most of you know how laundry in the Oregon is being played and at the early stage it's very hard to find any objective player. You usually have three people to deny the blue, one around the freezer or freezer stairs and the last one is probably around the lobby stairs. And guess who is holding blue off the side? Smoke. Smoke is generally known as an anchor, but just a reminder that no operator has a fixed role, due to it being heavily dependent on a situation. So this is a way to help your roamers out, and in this situation we have helped them to make crossfires into the blue entrance. There are several more ways of helping your roamers, and we will get into that later. Let's start off with the introduction clip. It is on the villa and talking about how defenders are giving study for free and the main stairs. Massive <laughs> oof. But also, you guys cannot sit AFK in corners on the bomb side before they've taken the first line. Like now they're taking main stairs and they're taking office and we're not even trying to contest it. Let's explore other ways how anchors can help roamers. I think that Border will be a great example for this one, as Border is played quite a lot in the ranked nowadays, right? I'll actually show two examples, one for the tryharders and the other one for the simple ranked heroes. Let me know down in the comment section in which group you are in. Okay, so, ranked heroes first, that means slightly more default. When you're holding heavily office with the fontaine walls being reinforced on the both sides, and one player being in the sandwich. What the anchors usually do is two things. One is more dangerous and was to climb on the shelf by going around the TV and then he has three great angles toward the office window, toward the triple walls but as well as toward the double door from the long and this is a little less known angle. Less risky way to heavily hold off is to actually have a rotation here and then on the left side a reinforcement and then you could somewhat safely go in the office or even from the archives you can help the sandwich guy in the office. Not to go too much in depth of this track and you can always ask me more about this in my streams if you wish so. So let's just talk about the other example on the border. This one will be slightly more quicker and slightly more advanced. When you're holding heavily CCTV the only issue is how to neutralize attacks by the CC window and the repel. So how the advanced techs did it is to actually open up one of the lockers wall, simply to contest it with the either clash in the lockers, smoke throwing babes by the window and contesting it with the SMG-11. You'll probably be able to do it with the Tachanka. So this is a, another way of anchors helping out roamers denying map control from the objective. Notice how I did not mention being on the camera at all. Usually what people will tell you Anchors are in the objective and are in camera waiting for the attackers. Neither of these two examples was true for these examples. 
I will mention cameras later on, but now let me give you another way of helping the roamers, which is probably the most underrated thing in the siege. Vertical angles. Maybe on the border it is not, but let's go to the villa actually, shall we? How often do you have people that are in study push from the top main? You can help them from being pushed from the bottom main with this simple hole. Make it a slightly bit bigger so you don't get pre-fires. One cool trick with a C4 scenes, I am here. You can kill anyone trying to open up the vault wall behind the bar with this lineup. I will line up with this beam. Also credits to iFrozen on the YouTube for this one. One more thing about the vertical angles is, from the statuary and trophy, you can deny attackers pushing from the memo, which is also crucial for the defenders. Let's check a clip from one of the my streams on the Cafe Dostoevsky. We have just one roamer, so the way to help your roamers is to play vertically from the objective. So over here you are denying any kind of push from the reading, usually, usually you will see a crouch walking player from the east balcony going through the readings because he can then cut rotation towards the white stairs. And also you One final example about how can you help roamers vertically is reverse. Let's go back to the border and let's defend work and vent. Have you ever fought as an anchor to help out your roamers from the underneath through these holes? This is Fontaine by the way. And this is extremely underrated. Vertical holes from below. And these are usually free kills, trust me. Let's see another clip from my stream, but these vertical holes will be used to deny the impact tricks. Uh, also it is very important to see the vertical holes over here, because then again, anchors want to help out the roamers, and the way to help out roamers right now, right now is to play from below and destroy any Xeros. Uh, okay, there's no ace, so Xeros on these walls. And if they open up this wall, that usually means they have to drop down. The only way then, if, if this is open, then the only way to contest the top floor attacker is from the Y stairs. Let's talk about the cameras. The cameras, finally! At the very start of the action phase, check the camera immediately, because that way you can know if one push is happening over another one. I have used these three clips already in my previous videos. But in all three clips, you will see how the immediate info will make the defender change the utility placement and plan them against a different kind of push. I mean, you have her for just leave with me multiple times. It's happening, push. It's happening, fear. Okay, I'm, I'm turning all my stuff then. I don't even understand how that works for you, but sure. Uh, it's Master again, they didn't even shoot the study cam. Uh, Jennings, can you place an ADS in the doorway? In the door, yeah. Big tower. Uh, nobody else has small tower. It should be full big tower, take. That's another way to support your roamers, letting them know from where they will be most likely pushing. So these are three main things as an anchor you should consider when helping the roamers. But they all mean the same thing. Roamers need to worry about the less angles. Mid round, you should allow your roamers to go slightly bit safer to the side, by either testing the waters if an area is clear or not. A great example will be main stairs on the bank. If you have roamers around the first floor, try safely to see if the route is safe, and if it is, you can hold that angle for the roamers so they can rotate back, or again to worry about the less angles, which is the main hallway. If you really have nothing to do in the round, stay on the cameras, as we will see Nello doing. I'm, I'm controlling Freezer. Yeah, I'm rotating away. Uh, there may be in lobby, watch out. Yeah. Late round. Try to hold important positions as long as possible. People call these important positions as power positions or power places. These will be church when defending clubhouse, to play proning behind the table, or shotgun close. It also could be Shaiko on the coastline when defending Hook and Aqua. 
as a matter of fact. Let's check that clip from Danello's perspective, Yanello again, as he picked unnecessarily to the VIP in a fight and lost it. He'll be talking about the Shaiko spot. He's 25. Nice well played. Like, in that situation, just don't do anything, just stay there and don't peek and you win the round. But it's, it, in, in the ranked, it's so boring to just stay in the same place all the time, you know? Like, if I was just standing there on the cam until the end of the round, we win the round. Now, let's also check the Pengus clip on the border. Benches. I have to fight this breach. So, let's see some additional and random tips as an anchor. Understanding how the push will happen is very crucial. I can make quick text guys on that category on my subreddit, as you can see, on the multiple ranked maps. When you're putting the utility down, no matter if you're Smoke, who is 100% occupied with the preparation phase, if you hear a drone, that is your priority to destroy. That drone is most likely going to be a flying drone somewhere, and your roamers will die because of it. As an anchor, do not always hesitate to take the fights, especially if these angles enable roamers to play their game, such as if you don't have a vertical angle from the cache towards the stock, then any roamer in the launch can also be pushed from that area. Never, but never be useless, there's always something smart to do. You never want to play the game as a 4 versus 5. Thank you for watching this video and staying with me for this long, and thanks all the patrons and YouTube members for making this video available. If you want to learn all the basics and advanced things about the siege, make sure to give me a like, subscribe and click notification bell to get all notifications from my channel. Make sure to give me feedback down in the comment section below.